2025 Honda CMX 1100 Rebel. Honda has expanded its CMX 1100 Rebel line for 2025 by introducing the new CMX 1100 SE model, which complements the existing CMX 1100 and CMX 1100T variants. All three versions of the Rebel feature a 1,084 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine, now with enhanced low and mid-range torque and more power. The dual-clutch transmission DCT, has been improved for better low-speed handling, and other updates include a more ergonomic riding position, a new 5-inch TFT display, Honda RoadSync smartphone connectivity, and a USB-C port. Advanced technology such as throttle by wire, TBW, three riding modes, two customizable modes, Honda selectable torque control, HSTC, and cruise control further enhance the bike's performance and versatility. Introduction The Rebel series first debuted with the 500 cubic centimeter CMX 500 Rebel in 2017, capturing the interest of younger riders by combining traditional bobber styling with modern, innovative elements. Its success continued with the introduction of the CMX 1100 Rebel in 2021, bringing more performance and advanced features. In 2023, the family grew further with the touring-focused CMX 1100T Rebel. For 2025, the Rebel range builds on its popularity with key updates in engine performance, comfort, and ergonomics, as well as the addition of the CMX 1100 SE, a factory custom edition with a street-oriented design. Model Overview the 2025 Honda CMX 1100 Rebel balances laid-back cruising with spirited riding on twisty roads. The bike's stiff tubular steel frame, high-quality suspension, and powerful brakes provide a confident and enjoyable ride. The model's ergonomics have been improved, including repositioned handlebars, forward-set foot pegs, and a thicker seat that offers increased comfort with a low seat height of 710 mm. The 1,084 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine, also found in the CRF 1100L Africa Twin, has been retuned for a stronger low and mid-range punch and a more engaging exhaust note. Honda's throttle by wire system enhances ride customization, offering three preset riding modes and two user-defined settings. Riders can fine-tune power delivery, engine braking, HSTC, and DCT shift schedules. Additionally, the 2025 updates include smoother low-speed response for the DCT model. The Rebel's minimalist bobber design features steel front and rear mudguards, a 175mm diameter headlight, and a new 5-inch TFT display with smartphone connectivity via Honda Road Sync. The bike's design can be easily customized, with options to go solo or carry a passenger, and it includes standard cruise control for long highway trips. The CMX 1100T version is designed for touring, equipped with a half-fairing, wind deflection, and hard rear panniers for increased luggage capacity. New CMX 1100SE Model the CMX 1100 SE is a new addition for 2025, offering a factory-built street custom style. It includes bar-end mirrors, a color-matched nose cowl, fork gaiters, a short front mudguard, a diamond-stitched seat, and an anodized radiator cover. This addition is designed to provide unique street character with a range of genuine Honda accessories pre-fitted. Styling and Equipment The 2025 CMX 1100 Rebel retains its stripped-back, minimalist bobber look, with a low, long profile and sculpted 13.6L fuel tank. The front and rear mudguards are made from 1mm thick steel, while the headlight and taillight combine classic and modern elements with LED technology. 
The bike's new 5-inch full-color TFT display offers customization between three patterns, bar, circle, and simple. The Honda Road Sync system enables smartphone integration, allowing for navigation, calls, and music control, all accessible via a Bluetooth headset. A USB-C port is conveniently placed for easy connection. The CMX 1100T Rebel enhances the standard model's comfort and touring capabilities with its half-fairing, stubby windscreen, and hard rear panniers that provide a total carrying capacity of 35 liters. The CMX 1100SE brings a more street-oriented aesthetic with unique factory accessories. Engine and Performance the 2025 CMX 1100 Rebel features a retuned 1,084 cubic centimeters SOHC parallel twin engine, derived from the CRF 1100L Africa twin. The engine now delivers 65 kilowatts at 7,250 RPM, with a peak torque of 98 Newton meters at 4,750 RPM. The bike's power output is enhanced by a higher compression ratio, 10.5 to 1, and improved torque response throughout the rev range. The engine has been tailored to the Rebel's dual personality, offering smooth cruising at low revs and a more spirited, thumping response at higher RPMs. Honda engineers achieved this by using a model-specific camshaft and flywheel, alongside a 270 degrees crankshaft that gives the engine a distinctive feel. The exhaust system has been redesigned to enhance the bike's character, with a deep, low-frequency note at lower revs and a more powerful sound as RPM rises. The bike's compact engine design, including a semi-dry sump crankcase and unicam drivetrain, contributes to a low center of gravity in optimized handling. Electronics. The 2025 Rebel is equipped with throttle by wire (TBW), offering three preset riding modes: standard, rain, and sport, along with two customizable user modes. These settings allow riders to adjust power delivery, engine braking, HSTC, and DCT schedules to suit different riding conditions. The HSTC system includes integrated wheelie control and is optimized for the new engine's increased performance. Dual Clutch Transmission DCT. Honda's DCT system is available as an option for the CMX 1100 Rebel and has been refined for smoother operation at low speeds. The system offers automatic and manual modes, with three automatic shift schedules corresponding to the riding modes. In user mode, riders can fully customize the DCT's shift points to match their preferences. Over 57% of Rebel owners have opted for the DCT system, making it a popular choice for those seeking both convenience and performance. Price the price of the 2025 Honda CMX 1100 Rebel lineup is expected to vary depending on the model. However, official pricing details were not specified in the press kit. Historically, the Rebel 1100 models have been priced competitively within the cruiser segment.